Hey y'all, hey, it's D. So it is time for a mortgage payoff update and a debt confession all in one. So y'all, if you want to see how much debt I was in and how much debt I am in now, please hey. stay tuned. It's D. So I will go over my whole debt-free journey uh, process that I have been doing since 2018 since I have quite a bit of new subscribers and yeah y'all so this might be a little bit longer video than usual but it will be worth watching so give you a little background um I officially started documenting my debt-free journey back in October of 2018 and at that time I had a total debt of 79000 nine hundred three dollars and seventy three cents and that included some student loans a new vehicle that i purchased and my mortgage so i actually started documenting it i knew i wanted to get my student loans paid off and i was paying those off i guess around 2015 like one at a time and when 2018 came i think i had like one more left and I was going to pay off my student loans and then immediately go to pay off my mortgage. But as life would have you, the vehicle that I had at that time um, broke down and it wasn't worth putting any extra money in there. So I had to buy me a new vehicle in June of 2018. I traded in my vehicle to get the, new, the vehicle that I got now. And I took some of that extra cash and I put it against my last student loan and I went ahead and paid that student loan off. November of 2018, that left me with my car and my mortgage. So I worked really, really hard to get my car paid off because I wanted to get that paid off and then work on my mortgage. So purchased my car in June, 2018, and I was able to pay my car off in October of 2021. And I took out a five-year loan because I wanted my payment as low as possible because I know I wanted to uh, also put a little bit extra against my mortgage when I could. That is a little background on my debt-free journey. And yeah, y'all, now let's get into my updates. So back in December 23, I had to pause my debt payoff journey for my mortgage because I just couldn't, I didn't have enough money to make any extra payments. And instead of stressing myself out, I just paused it. And that was a very, very hard decision for me. I just, I just had to do it. So, um, it, it took me a while to fully get used to not using all my extra money to put on debt. And what I have been doing since then was to save any money that I could. So I went from aggressively paying off debt to trying to scrape up money so I can save. So that was a big transition for me. And it was it was hard on me. And I, I try to look at the positive things in life. So I think the lesson that God was trying to tell me during that time was to be more strategic with my money and over the last three months he has showed me more ways that i could be more strategic with my money i have been budgeting for over 20 years so this is not new to me but i was depending on my fund checking account more than i should because yeah y'all i just I just had to change my mind frame and that was one of the reasons why I think God, I think that's one reason why God was pushing me past my comfort zone and, you know, taking away a lot of my income so I couldn't actually pay any extra on my debt. So we're here now, we're going to get into the updates for 2024 and what I've been able to do since January. So yeah, y'all, let's see where my mortgage balance. So this is a little makeshift planner that I did make and I'm keeping up with certain financial information in here, including my mortgage trackers. So let's get into the video. Okay, this is my mortgage tracker from Naja from Budgeting and Bacon. I will have her link down below. And I did start this over um, in January and I will go over that in just a minute why I started over. So 
January 24, my balance for my mortgage was $11,910. So that's where I started the year off and ended 2023 at. And this tracker right here has a total of 50 houses. And that made each one of these houses a total of $238.20. So in January, I was able to color in, I was able to color in two houses for the payments I made and the payments I pretty much made was my regular mortgage payment. Then in February, I was able to color in one house and coming here in March, I have made my last payment for March. In March, I can color in a total of two houses. So I did start this so it wouldn't take so long. So in the year of 2024, I have been able to color in five houses on this tracker and I have not really I made some extra payments, but not a whole lot like I used to. I was really, really aggressive with it for a long time. And, you know, sometimes you got to humble you sometimes to teach you a lesson or to, you know, help grow you. Now I am saving and preparing for the future. And I'm not so focused on getting this mortgage paid off. I do still want to get it paid off. My original goal was to get it paid off by august of this year but i don't see that happening and that is you know what it is so i like to put on here the month and the year so i can know how much progress i made Alrighty, and this one right here was my original tracker from nyjah and i restarted this back in 2022 and in 2022 I think it was around November, my balance was 29000 even. And each one of these was worth a total of $580. And I restarted this tracker to the one I just did because it wasn't motivational for me. So for January, I was only able to color one house, February one house. And I knew for me, just coloring in one house would be sort of discouraging for me. So that's why I started a the new tracker that I just showed you. So for March, I would not be able to color anything on here. So that's why, <laughs> that's a prime reason why I knew this would be discouraging to me. So that's why I made the one I just did previously. And this right here is my amortization schedule from my mortgage lender. And I've been keeping up with this since uh, July of 2021. And I'm on the third of four pages and once i get down here to where this little yellow mark is i will be halfway done with this page so in january i was able to color in one line february i was able to color in one line and in march i will be able to color in one line i did try to save a little time and color in advance um yeah y'all so one more line i get to color and I am fine with that. This one is not so discouraging. I realistically know I can just color in on a month to month basis one line. And I can't redo this. I, well, I could redo this tracker, but I wanted to keep the original one. I could request another amortization schedule from my lender, but I don't want to do all that. So next, let's go to the next section of my, this is my monthly debt payoff. And this is where I like to notate what I'm able to do month to month. And in January, at the end of the month, my balance was $11,536. I was able to make a total principal payments, and this is just principal, this doesn't include interest or anything. I don't share the amount of my mortgage payment, but I do share how much principal I'm able to take off of my uh, mortgage month to month. So the principal payment, was $374. At that time, I was 84% paid off and I had a total of 29 payments left. In February, I ended with a balance of $10,990. I was able to make a total of $546 in principal payments. And this was because I did receive some extra funds from doing taxes and I was still at the 84% pay off and I have a total of 28 payments left per my lender. Big reveal of how much my mortgage balance is 
at the end of March. At the end of March, I am ending it with a balance of $10,576. So, whew, so, so close to being under $10,000. And I will insert a screenshot from my mortgage lender showing my balance. In March, I was able to, to put a total of $414 against my principal. I am currently now 85% paid off. So I went up one more percent from January and February. And I have a total of 27 payments left per my lender. So yay! Oh, I am very, very appreciative what I have been able to do, even with not being able to make a lot of extra payments this year. So I went from 11,000 down to 10,000. So yeah, this is another tracker that I made and I will go over the details of this. And this is just my monthly log. And um, my goal in January was to get my mortgage down to 11,000. $540 and I actually got it down to $11,536. February, I wanted to get my balance down to $11,162 and I was able to get it down to actually $10,990. So in March, I wanted to get my balance down to $10,600. And I was able to get my balance, as I stated, down to $10,576. And I'm also keeping up with my credit card rewards and my extra money. I will insert a screenshot of my credit card rewards. Um, I am recording this video a little early, so I will have some more added there. So it was a total of $41.80 thus far. And once the month end, I will fill this out. Okay, so camera. now let's get into the trackers that I have on my tablet. And for me, it helps keep me motivated to have multiple trackers. And that is just works for me. And this is I Am Debt Free tracker that I got from DebtFreeCharts.com. At the time that I downloaded this, it was free. And I think it still is free. So on this tracker in January, I was able to color in this one block right here. In February, I was able to color in this block and this block. So I got finished with the debt and I was so excited for that. I did share that on Instagram and YouTube. I think I did a post for both of those. And in March, I will be able to color in two more. So I will be finished with this top part of the F. Okay, so I am, whew, this chart has a total of a hundred different blocks and I am currently at number 60. So, who this is so exciting and motivating. It just keeps me going. So next, let's go over the actual payments I was able to make thus far this year. And I did do this a little different than what I did last year. Okay, so this is my tracker. I did change it up a little bit from how I was presented it last year. So these were the payments I was able to make in January. And in February, I was able to make a couple more. And this is because of extra funds that I got from doing taxes. And some, of, um, some for apps also. This $10 I know I was able to earn with apps. And in March, these are all the payments I was able to make. And these were because um, some money I made with apps right here. And this $24 right here was from the $1 bills that I cashed in and deposited and made a extra payment. A lot of those were D-Bucks that I did receive from my girl, Nigel from the Budget and the Bacon. So Nigel, thank you so much for helping me make a little bit extra payment on my mortgage. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. She is mortgage free. So go follow her. She is trying to get her first 100K invested into the stock market. So yeah, y'all. Okay. So those were all the payments that I made for this year thus far. As I stated, 
last year I had like payments. This will be like one month right here. <laughs> so and this is very humbling, but um, you know, take it with a grain of salt and learning the lesson that God is trying to teach me right now as he reveal what he's trying to teach. Now let's go to my next tracker. And this is basically the same thing that I went over on my uh, planner. And I will fill this in later. In out March with $10,576 left on this loan. Whew. Y'all. This debt payoff journey is extremely, extremely hard. And from what I've seen, my journey is totally different from everybody else. And I'll give you two reasons why. I am doing this journey as a single woman. I am doing this journey as a low income earner. I'm going to get this paid off. I don't know when, but I'm going to get it paid off. Um, my original goal, as I stated, was to get paid off in August of this year, but I tweaked that and at the end of the year, I want my balance down to at least $5,900. So my new goal is to get it paid off sometime in 2025. So we'll see once the end of the year get here, I can more decide on when I want to get it paid off. So make sure y'all follow along my journey. My next video for my mortgage payoff update will probably be once I get under 10K or at the end of the quarter, whichever one comes first. I want to, I want to thank everybody who has been here cheering me on on this journey because it is extremely, extremely hard to do this as a single woman on a low income, but I'm doing it. And yeah, y'all, I appreciate y'all so, so, so much. Words cannot express. And y'all, don't forget to make the money, but don't let the money make you. And stay tuned because my next video, I will be going over my money that I was able to make with apps and break down with you how much I was able to make with cash and gift cards. So stay tuned for that breakdown. And if you made it to the end of this video, leave me a hashtag debt because I am going to become debt free. Lord willing, by 2025. All right, y'all. Bye.